Let's put a garbage bin there, and uh, we'll put a garbage bin down here too. Okay, so hopefully workmen get on this. Can I have the restrooms up and running? The, all this stuff are up and running. Please, please, please. Manage storage. This storage room here. Nope, Steve's super select. That's what we're getting. New cashier. We're gonna hire this person, Joanna Vasquez, because she's really fast, really patient, and really sociable. And those are good, good traits to have for customer facing people. And then we're gonna do the same thing with, uh, you know what? That's one person for now. I think that's fine. Let's take a look. What are we gonna have for Steve Super Select? Hours wise. This is media. I think it should be open the same hours as Katronics is, right? So Katronics hours is eight to three. We actually need to adjust people here because we're getting busy on this side. Let's open it a little bit longer. Eight to five, eight to six. Oh wait, this is this is a guy's work schedule. Never mind. Hang on. I need the whole hours. Okay, we are open longer than that. I thought so. Ah, uh, okay. I like your work hours the way they are, but we're Katronics is open from nine to eleven. So we'll come down to Steve's super select and make sure it's open from nine to 11. And then staff wise, we'll have Joanna, AKA now the new name being Burger. I don't know about male, female. I don't know what you want there. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you want that. Um, will you play academia again? There are now events and teacher traits. Teacher traits uh, might add some cool features to it. Yeah. I don't know if the events really do, but maybe we'll see. Is it, has it really changed? Has it changed away from, it's kind of the same thing as startup company, right? Has it changed away from a model that includes do something, wait, do something, wait? Or like, for example, is it only going to award me money at the start of the day still? Do I have to wait an entire day before I get money? Because I think if, if that's the way it's going to be, I'm probably just not interested in playing it right now. It just takes too long to do everything. It's a lot of like, do this and wait, do this and wait. Um, if I take uh, burger here, have you start work at nine? Have you end at, at, at five? I'm going to have you end at four instead. And then we'll have a new cashier come in and that new cashier will be, let's say you, Don Leonard, patience. I want high patience. Yeah, I want high patience. I think we'll do Don. What's this trait? 3961 and 37. So yeah, this... Dawn. Hire Dawn. And Dawn is going to work from, let's say, 1 o'clock to close. No. Let's say th 3 o'clock to close. Eight hours. Yeah, this will work. So there's an hour there in the middle of the day where they're both working. That's good. Yes, you have to wait an entire day. Yeah. Berger, I don't know what you're saying. You keep saying your mic, but I don't know what that means. If I go... Who wants to be Don Leonard? Who wants to be a cashier at Steve's Super Select. It makes sense that Steve would want to. Steve, are you, are you even in the game yet? Kind of named this after you, didn't we? Are you in the game yet? I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember. You're a security guard. Okay. All right. You're a security guard. You're already in then. Uh, Imgrin. Imgrin is the first to go. So, you get it. There you go. You're in. Again, I don't know male, female. I'm not sure what you are. 
I'm just gonna assume male because, you know. <laughs> Hire a stock clerk. Who's gonna be the stock clerk for this? Let's go with, I mean, I just need speed. Walking speed of the character is probably the most important for this, so. Yeah, we'll go with, uh, eh, yeah, Victoria Shaw here. Victoria is going to be somebody else, as opposed to just a little bit male, right? Did you just assume people's gender? I did. I'm sorry. It, it must be the YouTube statistics where it shows that 92% of my audience are male. It's just RNG. I just I roll the dice. Is it going to be? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Not necessarily, but probably. Victoria Shaw is the new stock clerk. And this is now open. At least it will be open for business. The stock clerk, though, I think we kind of need two. I think we kind of need two. Because you're going to work at eight and get out at th uh, three. And so we'll get another one. You're pretty good. Yeah, you're pretty good. And then you're going to work starting at, uh, let's say... Th yeah, this will this will do. This will do nicely. We probably don't need the stock clerk to work any longer than that, so... Okay. We're ready to rock there. Things that are in high demand. Wow, my kid is jumping all over the place. If you hear bunches of thumps, it's, it's my kid. Uh, grocery store is in high demand. So can we turn this into a grocery store then? Because it says main food, main category is 47% foods. So what I should do is remove some of the things that are, like I should remove, let's say, backpack, school supplies, uh, things of that nature. D DVDs and Blu-rays. We can get rid of this. The books, we can get rid of that. We just need 50% of the store to be food. So we'll drop this. And I think the like cookware and dishes and all that stuff can probably go. Like we don't need any of this stuff. Construction toys, toilet paper. We got to make sure we keep the toilet paper in the store though. I think that's really essential. All right. I think it's too important. But we don't necessarily need it over here. Like, we can get rid of the uh, car tools, pads, tampons. We can get rid of the backpacks over here and the school supplies over here. If we do that, then the store becomes 52% food. It becomes a grocery store. So hopefully now we get better tier stuff. This is a fast food restaurant. This is considered a, uh, a store. It just says beverages. Ah! It says beverages, but it's 20% liquor. All right, so we need to adjust this, right? We have wines, beer. I mean, like, what is this? is all alcoholic. What do you mean 20% liquor? I guess it's like beer doesn't count. I mean, it's, it's alcoholic. I just figured it. Why does it have to be? It's tier two. I don't know. Also, Charlie, is the toy store named after your son? It can be. Uh, we could actually do a toy store here. I don't think that's in high demand, though. What's the demand on a toy store? Movies is going up. Conveniently, right as we're opening this store. If we can get the store open, that is. What's going on with my construction people? Like, this has been a, a task... For a long time. I hear it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. I know it's 3 a.m. You're probably busy doing other things at 3 a.m. I get it. Stock person is going to come in hopefully stock this. Has to be actual liquor. 50% liquor. Lame. So we get rid of... like You have to have a separate beer store. That's silly. But, okay. If that's the way it has to be, then that's the way it has to be. So, we'll switch this to liquor. We'll switch this to liquor. And we'll switch this to liquor. We're not doing beer, I guess. 
We have liquor, liquor, liquor. Liquor, 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 liquor. <laughs> wine, wine, wine. Liquor, liquor, liquor. Beaver liquor. <laughs> I mean, it needs to be beaver. It needs to be a liquor store. It's beaver liquor. Now it's 46% liquor. So I guess we'll get rid of the soda. We don't do soda here. We just do liquor. There we go. Now beaver liquor is a liquor store. Liquor, I don't even know her. I <laughs> know. Hey, Riven, how are you? Keyframe, welcome. Pyro, work, works for you? Good. It's a good idea to make more than one construction office as you expand. Uh, I mean, yeah, if, if I'm going to expand quickly, I haven't been able to expand that quickly because of uh, lack of funds. But now we're at 92% on logistics, and we've already finished the road thing. So I think um, we can spend a lot of this money trying to get this expansion. So if we go with the road right here, $10,000 to this one, and then connect to this road. All right, stock person. We have a shelf of books. It's tier two books though. Logistics is done. So we're gonna get deliveries faster. That's good. Can I get, hang on, can I get, uh, scrub, floor scrubbers, cinema, fitness center. I don't know what's in demand here. Probably underground parking would be super, super good. They're really expensive, though, I imagine. Allows bus transport and the construction of 10 bus stops. Interesting. Public transportation to our mall. It brings more people in, which means more customers. What's the demand for, for example, fitness centers and stuff? Do we have anything like that? Is it going to tell me that? Yeah, fitness is down. Uh, fine dining is going up a little bit. Jewelry is going up. Oh, we should have a, a dedicated jewelry store. We don't have that. This can be a dedicated jewelry store. I like it. Let's do it. Because jewelry is worth a lot. Okay? It's worth a lot. Uh, so we will have tables, which is what we set up jewelry with. And jewelry store is going to be kind of like... Like we'll have things on display in like little collections in the back here like this. This will be all jewelry, right? And then we'll have our checkout counters, right? We have to flip it around this way, I guess. Yep. We flip it around like this. Check out there. And then self-checkout can be... I mean, I, I don't really want the lines to cross per se, but... Maybe we have no... I mean, it's a jewelry store. How many people are buying jewelry at a time? Do we really need self-checkout for a jewelry store? I don't know about that. Let's get buses. The more I think about it, the more I think buses are the way to go here. So let's do that. Dog portraits on the screen. Jari claiming the dog portrait. There you go. It's a common theme if you're new to the channel and you're like, what's with the dog picture? Okay, I see this on videos sometimes. What's with the dog picture? Okay. So a long time ago, when Charlie was but a wee streamer, I started this journey in a different room of my house. I started it without a green screen. It was upstairs. And my webcam, as it showed me, you could see the background of my room, and there was this this portrait of my dog. My brother, my, my not, not Jake, my other brother, took that photo of my dog when she was a puppy. She was like, I don't know, one year old or something. In any case, over my shoulder, you could always see that, this picture on the wall way behind me this whole time. And people began to, to see that and go, oh... You know, there's that picture. They would just notice it every time they came to a live stream because it was over my shoulder. 
So then I moved down to my studio office. I, I built my in my basement. I built this like studio office, and down here I have a green screen. When I got the green screen, you know, now there's no dog portrait behind me, and people flipped out. And they said no, no streamer. We demand the dog portrait be behind you. And I went, you're kidding me. You actually care about this. And he said, yes. They said, yes, I care. We care. And I was as shocked as you are. But what the people want, you know, so I took a picture of it, took a picture of a picture, cut out the, the wall made it this, this this image, and then popped it on a hotkey that I can put behind me, over my shoulder, just like the old days, every time. And now we have emotes in Twitch chat that go with it. All good things. And so there you go. This is a lot of jewelry, all right? I'm just saying, I don't think I need this much jewelry, but it's a lot of jewelry. Let us get... Who wants to work in the jewelry store? And I also need a name for the jewelry store. I need a name for the jewelry store. Uh, good patience, good social ability. You know what, Vincent, you don't have good stats of anything, but you're going to get really good at it. You're very patient. You're hired. And then I think uh, we'll also get uh, maybe uh, you. You're hired too. That's fine. Oh, you're a good cashier. We'll hire you. Okay, so, uh, this person here that's not very sociable and all that stuff i'm gonna switch you to a stock clerk for the store instead so you're gonna be a stock clerk for this instead okay so we have a stock clerk for the store and we have um two cashiers working in alternating schedules so store here ball and chain oh i kind of like that I kind of like that, yeah. Maybe like this? Nah, it's got to have some class to it. We're not going to go... We're not going to gangster this up. Ball and chain. Real simple, sophisticated, done. Ball and chain. I like it. We open at 10, because we're not heathens. And uh, who needs to open a jewelry store at 9, honestly? Uh, and we close at 8, right? We have very limited hours, okay? We're going to link the storage to it. And for staff-wise, this this cashier comes in at 10. It's going to work for six hours, five hours. Works for five hours until three. This one comes in, works, uh, starts at, let's say, two, and works till 10. We could do like a 10 to 10 thing here. Nah, we'll, we'll close it. We'll close at nine. Let's say it closes at nine. 10 to nine. Okay. And then the stock clerk, you're going to come in at 8 and stock the shelves. Keep them shelved as much as you can until about 4, and then you can leave. And then, of course, we need anti-theft in here because it's a jewelry store. It's going to be important to have anti-theft. Now, notice how we don't have street entrances. They have to come in through the main entrance for this. So I would like to get some underground parking. We can maybe gut this. I don't know how big the underground parking entrance is, but if I can have the entrance be right here, we could gut this and have this all be just walkway space. I don't know. Ball and chain works on multiple levels. I know. Family jewels. Oh, God. Bus transport's done. Let's get... Uh, let's work on underground parking. Let's do it. Now, I have the roadway thing. So my, my workers are working on this roadway to connect it all the way up to here. And I could pay $40,000 to unlock this. I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more cash. And I'm also going to wait until, like, obviously this is connected before you turn that on. But now with a bus stop, I'm thinking if we... Where would the bus stop be? Maybe there's... Uh, oh. How do I do bus stops? Maybe is it in here? Yeah. $10,000 for a bus stop. Okay. Remove this parking spot. 
And then also, can I get you to focus on that? You. Come over here and focus on this, please. And then we'll have a bus stop put right here. And this kind of sits them smack dab in like the middle of all these stores. Come on now. Where's my construction guy? He's not coming, is he? He's taking his time. Okay, he's all the way over here. Got it. I also think maybe just having more customer parking there is a good idea. What is Ball and Chain going to be? The store where you get all your stuff from Prison Architect? No, Ball and Chain is uh, a jewelry store. If you're... Uh, maybe it's an American thing. I don't know. But it's a... Uh, I, don't, I guess it's a saying where the wife is... Your wife is a ball and chain. Is your ball and chain. It's like you're a prisoner to your marriage kind of thing. It's, it's a joke. Uh, bus stop there. Let's go. We have a bus stop being built. Now more customers can come in here and they don't have to drive. They can come right in here on buses. Feels good. And then again, we have anti-theft measures and security guard at the door. We may get a second security guard to watch this area since this is a really busy area now. This store has street entrance, but it has its own security guard stuff, right? So they can come in through here or they can come in through this store, Charlie's Secret, and then go to the rest of the mall. But there's a main mall entrance and then there's a mall entrance directly in this store. This whole thing is kind of like a bunch of interconnected stores, but they each have their own entrance anyway. I need my kid to stop jumping above my head. I really need that to happen. I don't know what I got to do to make that happen, but I would really like that to happen. Also, they didn't finish the bus stop. They half-assed the job. I do not like it when my people half-ass the job. Come over here, Rosa Hudson. Come over here and prioritize this so I can have buses tomorrow. Charlie, you spent almost all today's profits on a bus stop. It's called investing in the future, Max Love Toby. It's called, what can I put my money into, which is going to grow my money. That's what I'm all about. I'm an inv I invest. Okay, I don't spend, I invest. In this case, I'm gonna spend today's profits on something that gets me more customers, that gets me more profits. So there you go. That's what we're doing. We're definitely not gonna do that burger. We're not gonna tie my kid up, that's, no. I know you're kidding, but still, we're not gonna do that. Prioritize this. All right, wow, that looks dumb. I really don't like how that looks. I think I hate it. But I don't know where else to put it. I, I especially don't like the part where the sign is just sticking out in the road like that. But people came in on the bus. See? They come in on the bus, so okay. More customers already from it. So we are now 135,000 in debt. Took a big loan and we're paying it off over time. We're down to 46 grand. We gotta be careful that we don't spend too much and then have to worry about, you know, we don't wanna worry about, uh, yeah, people just standing around outside now. Kinda sucks. Hey, you there. Can you finish this first? I don't know, I just like, I want this parking to not be a thing that's staring me in the face. Bathrooms, this, and then this hallway, right? It's gonna connect all these other stores. So it's just gonna keep going this way. And then we'll end up having like the food court and all that stuff over here. And uh, we'll have underground, we'll have the, the, the driveways and stuff. The roads will come this way and we'll have like parking and underground parking and all that stuff there too. Any 24 hour stores? Not yet. I've been thinking about having this be the 24 hour store. Uh, if we have Charmart do it, I don't have one yet though. 
I don't know about the demand for it yet, so having staff and paying their hours for low demand. Uh, Christmas season's coming up, though. Ooh, boy. Starts in one day, 19 hours. We have construction toys, action figures, board games, greeting cards, all the good stuff. So now I'm thinking, why don't we make this a toy store? Although, don't people buy jewelry for Christmas? No, that's Valentine's Day. This will be really busy during Valentine's Day. I think we need a toy store as well. Are they just parking garages or just underground? Just underground. And I don't know... Uh, mm, I don't know about... Uh, like how much space they take up. I get that they're underground, but certainly there's something above ground that will get placed. This... I can't win. It's either my kid jumping in front of me or my dog going nuts and barking above my head. Oh, it's one spot. Really? It only takes up a single spot? That's really efficient. I'll put it right here. All right. Are we going to get... Uh the jewelry store to be stocked anytime soon. There we go. There we go. Now our profit margin is bad here. Steve's super select media store. But I, I like it so far. And they have the jewelry store that does not have self checkout. We require you to wait in line to buy the jewelry. Okay, it's required. For now, we can maybe do self-checkout, but it's expensive to buy it. And I'm just going to let this be a thing for now. We'll see how it does with one employee, and that's basically it. Are the, are the parking lots full? No. Okay, drug stores. We don't have that yet either. I was initially planning to put a drug store here in the middle of Charmart, and I actually might split this backside off of Charmart. Because this is all specialized, we can take uh, a lot of this stuff out, put the shelves here. But look how many people come into Charmart, you know? Like, we need full staff all the time. And there's still somewhat long lines, you know? There's a lot of people going in and out of Charmart, so... Because we have Tier 2 stuff now. Tier 2 vegetables. Tier 2 fresh bread. And we need more stock clerks for it, too. We're running out of... Like, our shelves are going bare. Sliced bread is at an all-time low supply. Okay? Look at this. This looks like... This is like COVID shelves right here. Okay? COVID-era shelves. This is supposed to be pre-2020 simulator. Okay? So far in stock, not happening. Look at the lines. Gah. All right, we're going to have to, like, maybe adjust this. I need more self-checkout. School supplies? We're going to need that, though. This jewelry store is too big. I don't think we need this jewelry store this big. I'm going to change this. Move this table to here. Move this table table to here. Nope. Just get rid of it. It's fine. Uh, cancel. Move this to here. Move this to here. Move this to here. We're going to do it like this. No, I don't even think we're going to do that. We're going to have the jewelry store. Just be like this. Then you are going to move to here. And then these shelves are going to go. We're going to get rid of these products. And then... We're going to put a wall right here. And we'll have another store 
right here instead. A whole new store right here. And this store... I think this is a better way to go here. So this will be ball and chain. And then we'll also have... I think I don't think this will ever be busy enough to really need self-checkout, to be honest. Um, but in the event that it is, it doesn't cost much to just simply have a self-checkout. So we'll put this here in case somebody does want to use it as self-checkout. But I don't, okay, it's like I said, I don't think that'll ever be necessary. All right, so we'll get rid of all of this. We'll split the store. And then this here will be, like, we'll have a little toy store here, maybe. We might need to do that to these stores, too. Like, this is a lot of space. I like the wide openness of it, but maybe that's just because I'm, like, American. And our places are always so big and spread out because we have tons of space, right? So I think that's, like, we always have tons of space. So I always feel like having lots of wide open space is a good thing. But I know, like, in a lot of countries, especially stores, especially specialty stores, you end up with, like, really narrow walkways. And you end up with trying to stuff as much stuff in the store as possible. Because your countries are ge geographically, like, space-wise, smaller. So you have to fit things into smaller, uh, smaller, smaller spaces. Build up. But we don't have verticality in this. So we can't. Inaccessible work orders. Builders can't access some work orders. Yes, you can. You can't access this, but you absolutely can access everything else. Let's put the double door in the front of the store uh, here. So this will be a new store. It's because we're American. I know. Am I still a cashier at Charmart? Probably. I haven't fired you or anything. It's possible you maybe you retired. I don't know. But how did our lines... Like, how did we do for customer satisfaction? Is there any way to tell whether people were, like, super satisfied with us or not? I still haven't figured out how marketing really works in the game, right? We ran a marketing campaign and it doesn't seem like it did anything except cost me money. So I still don't know how that like really translates. It's possible that we were already like maybe at the peak of what we could take in because of only having one roadway. And because of that, the marketing campaign wasn't that effective. I'm not sure. So I need $40,000 to unlock this road. It's already built but I need the money to unlock it, and then we get a lot more customers. I like wide open stores. Mm -hmm. Time for the stop. Jobs, stay safe. See you, Kaz. Uh, by the way, today we're ending at 4.30. We're going to end a little bit earlier. I got some uh, home improvement stuff to take care of. My husband duties are going to impede on my streaming abilities. Okay, so I got some home improvement stuff to take care of. I think we need another janitor. I'm starting to think we don't have enough janitors. We got only two of them. Nope, sorry, we have four. I think we maybe need another one. Let's hire another janitor to work. Uh, nobody's really good at it, though. Secu this guy's good at security. We could have another security guy. Let's hire another security guard. Security center one. We're hiring another guard, and it's going to be this person. Really good at security. Also, this person. We could hire two security guards. We could hire you. I think just you. Yeah, just just you. You're good at building? Maybe we need another builder. We need another builder. Also, uh, you don't have a route. I can fix that. Your route is going to be... Uh, we're just going to put you in here. And have you do this right here. This will be your route. Ziggy zag? No. You're just going to go like this. Your route will be like this. You're just going to stop the shoplifters that come through here. No big deal. And uh, we will have your route. There you go. This is yours. There. You will work this route from, say, 11 to... Uh, yeah, 11 to 7. Sounds good. Sounds good. How do you update stuff? When will you play... When will you next play this? What do you mean? We're playing this on Mondays. 
This is our mon this is our Monday game for the short term. When you send home improvement, reminded me of John Tron's quote. Am I at this moment Tim Allen from Home Improvement using a lightsaber chainsaw to fight a raptor? Uh nice. I think this guy's getting away. Oh my god, we let one go. Sailor Pixel, how could you? How could you let them get away? With, with our with stole a stolen merchandise, how could you let them get away? Darn it. Oh well. All right. Christmas season is upon us. I need a toy store and I need it meow. I need a toy store meow. So let's assign this as a store right here. I need it. I need a uh, toy store is going to be Aiden's. That's the name of the toy store. This is going to be. This is just simply Aiden's. And it's a toy store. And the toy store staff hire a cashier. And I want. I think I want one of those other cashiers. Don't we have a cashier for another store that's really good? We have two cashiers here. Ball and Chain has two cashiers. Uh, Charlie's Secret has four cashiers. It's a pretty busy store, though, so... Thirsty Beaver has one cashier? Oh, it's, it's just the bar, yeah. she's She works nine hours. Kristen Growth. I mean, I don't want bad cashiers, but I need a dedicated toy store. So what I'd like to do with toys is... I believe I need... Actually, let's take them off out of this store. Bed sheets, uh, action figures. Take the action figure shelf and bring it over here. And then we're also going to take the construction toys shelf, bring it over here. And then we're going to take the board game shelf, bring it over here. Okay, and then I need new shelves. New shelves. In the world. There we go. Here, here, and here. And we'll go like this. This will be a toy store. Called Aiden's. Put a trash can here. Put self-checkout here. And then we'll put the checkout counter on this side. Allowing for long lines. Right? Uh, actually, no. One back. Like that. And then the last thing we need is uh, anti-theft. We'll put that on this side, actually. Stick the trash can next to it like this. And I think we're good. I got some serious allergies things, man. Ugh. It's starting. It's the spring. That's what we do. It's going to happen now. Okay, Aiden's. I need a stock clerk for Aiden's. Let's get somebody who is here. Deb is decently fast and is a decent stock clerk. You're hired. For cashiers for Aiden's, I'm going to need two. We have people who are nice and friendly for the kids. One, patient social ability way up, but your speed is slow. You're very slow. I can't do slow. I don't want to do slow. Although speed determines the walking speed. Oh, sorry. And customer's checkout time. That's very important. Let's, uh, uh, I guess we're going to do probably here, Lenny. You're not very fast, but you make up for it by making people patient. So, okay. Lenny, you're hired. We'll do alternating, alternating hours here once more. Aiden's is open from 8 a.m. to 9. Let's do 10. Uh, yeah, 8 to 10. Maddie will start at 8 and go till 4. Lenny will start at, let's say, wait, are you going till 4? Yeah, 4. You'll start at 3 and go till close. 
Yep. Okay, Lenny. Crazy, crazy crackhead. <laughs> Charlie's Secret, really? Oh, yeah. For sure. And then Deb Atkinson. I think uh, for stock clerk wise, I want you working in the morning. 7 a.m., bright and early. You work nine hour days. Keep the, keep the stock shelves. Nope, keep the shelves stocked. Strike that, reverse it. All right, there we go. 